Good morning traders, welcome to today's video. Wednesday the 6th of March 2024, this is your Bitcoin and crypto update and what a crazy, crazy 24 hours it has been. So yesterday Bitcoin making that all-time high, which is nice, okay? It's, it's nice that we've made a new all-time high after a few years. Um, but uh, yeah, then very quickly dumped 15, 16% and had the biggest liquidation event, um, yeah, that we've seen probably in, in over the last year, which is just, hey, it's crypto. This is what happens. It was so obvious, so obvious. I tweeted this when we took the all-time high, like literally just as the all-time high was taken. Everyone's celebrating a 30 second tick above, forgetting that it's now going to nuke 20% and run all of your stops. And that was my all time high tweet. Um, because, yeah, okay, it's nice. We've made a new all time high. But, like, it's just, if you weren't taking profit there, it's kind of ridiculous because it's just so obvious what was going to happen. Um, especially from this whole move up that we'd had, which was like a very like, okay, cool. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. We almost get there. And then it just takes out the stops up of these highs from people who were shorting, thinking that it was going to be front run, for example. And then, yeah, just, just a nuke. So really, really quite straightforward. Um, this dip for the first time was one that I wasn't like really, really eager to buy. Uh, I did take some positions on it. I didn't compound my Bitcoin long. Um, I did take some, I compounded on Doge, I compounded on Whiff, I compounded on Atom and a few others that have just been like performing well for me recently. So trades where I can keep my actual position under like, out, the, out of harm's way if this is to drop any further. <clears throat> so once again, I've had some really decent bounces from that this morning and have been able to take profit on that. But I'm now, what I would really like to see, and of course with trading, you can't just go with what you really want to see. But like the plan that I have at this stage is for this to start to form a bit more of a range. So what I am ideally looking at is, well, we can see the bounce, all right? So it, it took out this whole move which is very, very normal. Uh, as soon as we lost that POC, so it came down, it was just hovering around this point of control for a while, right? And as soon as, whoops, uh, as soon as that got lost, then the alts capitulated as well. So it was a really like quite interesting. It was this calm move down for a, a few hours or something, wasn't it? And alts were holding up well. And then you had that just spike down, which just took everything out uh, before recovering and now seeing this bounce that we've had so far today. So we claim the POC afterwards and then there's low volume here uh, where it's like really just quite quick to get back through that area. It was a quick move down and therefore we get a quick move back up again and the same on the way up, okay? There was not really any like range being formed. There was no value being formed. It's just straight up, straight down, straight up again. So for me, yeah, looking at this to, I mean, I'm, we'll see what happens with the order flow and everything here. Uh, it has been quite a nice move. We come up into the top of this uh, one hour OB. We filled all the imbalances. We filled all the inefficiencies. It would be natural to expect this to come back down and settle around that 62K area again, taking out these lows. So that's mainly the, the idea that I have at the moment is for this to just start to form this range, consolidate within this area, fill in the space that we have within this volume profile and then we're either looking at this as getting continuation higher or we're looking at this as oh my god what am i doing um or at that stage you get that move down uh to take out the to fill the wick maybe to take out these lows that we had from that first like hit of like into that 62k area and the this being a 382 retrace from the 38k low the long that i'm still holding by the way um a dot 382 retrace and we may at that stage have that anchored view app coming up to to meet it there so yeah if it can form a range for the next like week or two i think that'll be really really nice and i will enjoy trading that that gives us essentially a 10 percent range to trade which is a gold mine um 
and then you can just build a nice big stack of Bitcoin once again, or a nice big stack of whatever it is you want, ready for what I would imagine will be a clean break of all time high the next time it attempts it. Now, if it does go full time high again here, I, I don't think this, if, if we're going to get a clean break, it needs to form a range. It needs to get people a little bit uncertain. It needs to shake out those paper hands uh, for there to be a clean break and never look back, which is what's happened in previous cycles. If we do go up and take the highs again, then it's probably going to uh, result in another, another move back down. So that is just going to be, I mean, that's certainly going to wipe a lot of people out. Maybe that is the Max Payne scenario. Go and take the highs again, stop out the early shorts, get people bullish knock it back down to 62k again go for it again form this like cons again still consolidation around all-time high but not getting the clean break i think in order to get that clean one where you create the gaps we're going we're looking at like a move through from like 69 to 76 or something and, and not really ever testing that area again until the next bear market that is what we yeah ideally would like to see and what we've seen so far is very very similar to what happened from the, uh, the the last time there was an all-time high break so this is going back to 2020 okay where you had a whoops a big drop uh, the first time it got taken you form this range for a while you come down take the lows again and then you go for that clean break afterwards so thinking that maybe we can see something similar to that again here where we just chill drop down, take the lows, and then off we go. Would be nice, would be nice. Um, altcoins uh, are looking really good as well. So some alts have made new highs, uh, which has been pretty decent. Um, I've been in a few of these trades. I'm still in this DYDX one. Uh, this has been one that, yeah, I haven't compounded or and also didn't get stopped on. I got stopped on a couple, uh, Pyth, I got stopped on that. Uh, this was a trade, again, that I had taken previously, that I'd taken profit on and was continuing to hold. I actually compounded uh, Pyth as we were getting this like rounded bottom here. But then as soon as that dropped down, uh, my average entry was somewhere around here and then it got stopped. Um, what should have been in profit, but then with slippage, ends up giving, like, giving away a little bit more than maybe you would have wanted to. Um, uh, what other trades am I in right now? I'm in with... So I was able to add on to my whiff trade, which was from down here and add on to that. And now we've made another high and on Doge as well. Similar situation was in a long on Doge, uh, got filled below 12 cents and now we've seen a nice bounce. So taking profit on all of those again this morning because Bitcoin has entered that area in which, um, yeah, I do think that we could see some kind of consolidation here and, and a bit more of a cool off. Uh, in terms of the order flow, uh, what do we have here? Oh, look, there's, that's the tweet <laughs> that I'd sent. Um, yeah, for the order flow, we've actually got um, within this little range here, just over the last half hour or so, a few shorts entering. So maybe we do go and swipe those highs again and then continue with this consolidation type of thing. But we, you can see we've got a nice uh, liquidation bands up here from shorts that have entered within this range um, and within this previous range here. So maybe we come up and swipe those, uh, take those first before getting a retrace. What we also have is spot is still holding well. Um, so although what I'm saying is I would like to see a range forming here, uh, spot's still strong. And it is, it, all these moves are is just taking out like weak hands, um, impatient traders, uh, ones that just cannot manage their risk appropriately. So you've got like, yeah, look, look at that. Look at the CBD on perps. The blue line being perps now lower than it was when price was at 50K, which is just ridiculous. Okay, it's just so many people just getting wrecked for absolutely no reason. And um, yeah, that's just what happens. And this is going to happen continuously. Okay, so if it will happen often, like maybe a couple of times a month, it's a bull market, this happens. Um, so chill out on the leverage and you'll be absolutely fine and you'll make a load of money. Uh, yeah, so CVD on Binance. Again, we are, we are getting those bullish divergences, but it is a lot of this is longs closing rather than shorts opening. So 
see how this goes here. I have hedged into a short position, but if these highs do get taken, there is a very real possibility of another swipe to that all-time high. Um, whether that will be a clean break or not, I uh, I don't think we've had enough of a consolidation for a clean break, but okay, let, let's see how it goes. But yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. So keep trading the, the way that you normally would. Um, dips are still for buying, but a bit more of a prolonged range here would uh, would be the easier for me at least rather than just like just continue to rip higher because we kind of want some nice new entries and to let funding uh chill out a, maybe a little bit more funding's not too bad though to be honest either you know what the more i look at this the more i think that we're going for the highs again but let's see um yeah thanks for watching um catch you in the next video uh, there may be a live stream. There will be a live stream again soon, uh, either this evening or tomorrow. And yeah, I'll see you then. Cheers. Bye-bye.